Hey, this is Adam with Tech Dive AV Club. We're in Vegas Pro 18. We're going to talk about jump cuts, how to use them, and some of the things you can do in Vegas to help give you a better jump cut. Now, I've actually been doing jump cut wrong until very recently. I've only very recently started doing jump cuts more correctly. Um, and the reason why is because I've been trained in traditional media and usually try to stay away from jump cuts, but YouTube's very full of jump cuts. And there's a few rules, some of which I was following, but not all of them. I'm going to kind of teach you the rules of a jump cut and how to like use them the best and easiest way in Vegas. So uh, whether you've got something static like this or a person talking, if you're just worried about the content of what's being said for the jump cut and you're not worried about uh, the composition of the screen, which is a very YouTube thing. Um, so we're going to do a map they realize they can do. So we're going to do a map. So there, this is a good place to cut, right? It's just nothing but a breath. Uh, we need to go into it. Doesn't The pacing doesn't give you a good next step into what's being said so we can cut this out and keep moving as they can do so we're going to do now uh, the first rule is uh, you don't want to cut any syllables out so so here's the breath here so I don't need to cut exactly here I can kind of cut before the breath and give this worm word a little bit of room to fall off we zoom up even more you can see there is a little more going on with these words in fact you can actually see and I can use this rolling edit here, that the word actually falls off around here instead of where I originally thought it did. Uh, so using the shift up and down arrows will help you see your waveforms more completely and make a better uh, judge where the end of a word phrase is. So, so, do, so, do, so, so, now if I give it a little space you can hear, do, so, do, so, if I add it back you'll start hearing the breath. So, Okay. Okay. I'm going to turn it up so you can hear that. That's what we don't want. So that's one part of a good jump cut is where to leave off, but then where do we start? When we come over here, we're, that's all breath, so we can roll that out. But where do we start right here? Well, you can see there's actually a couple of different pieces of the waveform, you need to make sure that you're seeing your audio because that first part of the waveform can very easily disappear when your audio is smaller. So shift up and I'll scroll in so you can see a little more crunched. Um, but something's going on right here. Let's listen to what it is. We're going, we're going, we're going, we're going. It's actually the what of the W. It's me starting to create the W sound. So uh, I do not want that to be cut off. So I'm going to give that like one frame of lead room in front of that. Now this is how I traditionally have done a jump cut. There's nothing wrong with this, um, but let's go ahead and listen to it. So we're going to do. So we're going to do. So we're going to realize they can do. So we're going to do. So that sounds relatively natural, and that's what I've been doing for a jump cut. But there's one more thing you can do in Vegas to really kind of help you get a better jump cut. Uh, if you have pre, before you put anything on here, um, you can, you know, if you're like me, you've got a lot of effects on your audio track that you need. Uh, so you can actually duplicate that track. If you don't have any effects, you don't have to worry about the step. But duplicate that track before you get started. You can see now I have copy of my OBS audio. Um, I have that duplicated so now I can slide this down a track and uh, it doesn't change anything the volume everything's the same so this is still the same cut I can do so we're going to do I can do so we're going to do and so if I want this to run together a little better one thing I can do is actually just let this audio actually step on itself so that's something I didn't know is that it's actually very common to let the audio kind of step on itself a little bit in the jump cut uh, especially if you have like a talking head or something so we're going to hit shift and roll this back a little bit using the shift key you can ignore the snapping points like you can see here and you can ignore event grouping so when you hit shift I can do the same rolling edit back and move this back a couple of frames then slide it forward and then now my audio as this trails off just a little bit and give a more natural ending I can start talking just in the same couple of frames so it won't be different but it'll feel a little more natural do so we're going to do so we're going to do a magnify and if I, I can even advance it a little bit more do so we're going to do a magnifying glass and that that way you're already kind of listening to the next word before it happens now this has to be done tastefully um, it's only a few frames and uh, they can't actually step on each other so it doesn't need to sound like you're talking over yourself twice uh, what it does need to sound like is that you're 
you're saying um, you're finishing a word and then you're starting the next word, you want to give this word room to actually breathe. So you can still actually hear this word finish. It doesn't sound like it's being stepped on. So a mistake I do a lot of times and a, a way to hurry things along is I try to like really just get, keep things as tight as possible. So sometimes what I end up doing is this kind of chopping two words too close together so in a lot of my videos especially older ones you'll hear so we're going to so we're going to it sounding more like that which is not typically bad but for some people it's bothersome because instead of hearing that word naturally finish and the next word naturally start you just kind of hear two words jar together and um it makes the cut more obvious and it makes things more jarring so that is hiding a jump cut and some tools and tips to do that in Vegas Pro 18 when in this all these tips also work in movie studio 17 platinum and earlier versions in both as well so thank you so much for watching like this video helped you out subscribe if you're looking for more videos like this one let me know in the comments if this kind of video really helped you out a lot and I will do more like them